Okay, hi guys. Um, my name's Andy. Uh, I'm one of the directors of Cambridge Fitness Academy Limited, and I'm also writer of the blog Caveman Clark. So some of you may know me as Caveman Clark. Um, I'm here today to do a, a brief um, blog entry on the new Vibram Five Fingers Spiridon and Spiridon LS or Spiridon as some people call it, however you want to say it, Spiridon, Spiridon, doesn't really matter, it's still the same thing. Okay, I have both of the options here. The LS, which was first released in the USA, and then the one that I think those guys are getting about now, but that we've had in Europe for longer, which is the straightforward Spiridon with the uh, hook and loop closure there, the Velcro strap. Okay, I'm gonna just do a little quick um, overview of both of these shoes, uh, tell you the pros and cons of them, and an honest opinion. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody to tell you that these are great or anything, this is my own opinion of what I think of these shoes. Um, so, here we go. Basically, the first model that I got was the Spryden, which was released in Europe. Let me give you a quick close-up of that. Okay. It has the aggressive tread pattern on the bottom. Okay, you can see it's still really, really flexible. Some people complain that this isn't as flexible as they'd like in a Vibram Five Finger, but as you can see there, it's pretty, pretty flexible. Okay, uh, you've got to remember that this guy is designed for trail running. Okay, so for example, as we see here, there is the. Uh, Kevlar type material that goes throughout the whole footbed which uh, prevents stone bruising. Okay, that same thing, the sole on these two shoes is exactly the same you can see here, that um, the Kevlar is in there as well. Okay, but uh, first of all, Europe got this model. It's actually lighter, it's the lighter of the two models. Uh, I personally find it's a lot more comfortable. Um, as we can see here, Okay, it's got this standard Velcro strap like the KSO would have, like people who've been using Vibrams for years would be used to that. I actually find that with this really stretchy upper, that that fits your foot better than the lacing system here. This is a lot, lot tighter on the LS here, especially across this part here. Um, this is meant to accommodate for a wider and a higher foot but I actually don't think it does. I, I think this is a lot, lot tighter. This will stay on your foot better. It really hugs your foot. But it, for shorter distances in, in mud, that's really, really good because it really does stick on your foot. But here for longer distances, I find this a lot more comfortable. As you can see, it's a lot more stretchy upper. Like whatever shape or size your foot is, you're really gonna be able to, to get in that. Okay. Um, also, if we look, that is really flexible that way, as I've already demonstrated. But the Spryden LS, due to its upper, this is a heck of a lot thicker. It isn't quite, it, I mean, it's only a small amount, but it isn't quite. I don't find, it, find it's quite as flexible. This one weighs, it's a men's 43, uh, Euro 43, same as this one. So we're looking at the same shoe here, guys. Um, in terms of size. This weighs in just over 200 grams. It's, it's around 200, probably without the little bits of mud on the bottom, it'd be 200 grams. This one we're talking 180 grams, so you're shaving 20 grams off there, so this is lighter, quite considerably lighter, and that's only due to the upper because the sole is exactly the same. Uh, the other thing is, is as well, the heel on this one, as we can see in there, the heel is a lot more comfortable, I find, in the Spiridon than it is in the LS version, which I find around, I don't know if you can see very well, but around here, there's, there's like a, a seam up the back there that just starts to give you a bit of a rub on a longer run. That's not here on this one. You've got that lovely heel pad like you would in the uh, Komodo Sports or something like that. Okay, so again, this one wins again. Uh, Looks-wise, I suppose that's personal, but for me, I much prefer the LS. That is such a cool looking shoe. I mean, the way that this brown here is integrated 
with the black here and then you've got these great skeleton like lines coming from the toes and meeting at this point at the side of the shoe here. I just think that's such a good looking shoe. I think to be honest with you um, in terms of design I think this is the most attractive Vibram five finger that Vibram have brought out to date. This is the most attractive model. That's one of the big reasons I got it. I'd already got this one but I wanted to try the LS version and I also couldn't resist the design. I thought it was great. Okay, the rock plate on the bottom works really well. Um, I haven't had any stone bruising, I haven't had any roots poke through, any stones, any uh, thorns or anything. Especially in England we've got a lot of hawthorn bushes that the farmers like to cut and spread everywhere. And uh, in say, like for example the guys I'm wearing here, the uh, classic, they'll go straight through that and into your foot and then that's painful, it can get infected, it leaves bruising, and it's just not ideal. These guys have had none of that whatsoever. These have been fantastic. Um, the grip is the main reason I bought them. Trail running is what I personally do, Caveman Clark does most, most of the time. Uh, I love it just being out in nature and these guys get hold of the, the dirt, the grit, the rocks, tree stumps, mud, puddles, water, whatever you throw at these guys, they just churn it up, they lit, they stick to it, it's brilliant. It's not quite as good as the Vivo Barefoot uh, Neo or Brevo trails in terms of grip, but as far as a Vibram Five Fingers concerned, this is by far the best grip and best sole that they've ever produced for trail running, so you just really can't beat that if you just have a quick look. I don't know if you can see the green or the black better, but there's just a quick look at both of those. Okay, so in summary I would say that both of these shoes on shorter trail runs are going to serve you really well. Uh, they're comfortable enough, they grip the floor well, they're not going to leave you with stone bruising, they're still flexible enough, okay, uh, they're not as flexible as other models but you need that extra protection on, on uh, more technical trails, okay. But I would say that if you're buying a shoe for longer distance running, for maybe half marathons and above, uh, I would go for the straight Spiridon because the comfort uh, across the top here and across the heel is just slightly better and also um, something I haven't mentioned yet is breathability. These guys are much more breathable than these, okay? So this leaves your foot really hot, probably better in cold conditions. This leaves your foot cool, probably better in summer conditions, okay? Especially in England that means that you uh, probably will end up using these more because it's constantly raining and cold here. Um, but yeah, in summary, I would recommend either of these. If you're a trail runner, I wouldn't buy any other Vibram Five Finger, I'd buy one of these. And they're great, and I'm going to continue to use them for my running. So, uh, from Andy from Cambridge Fitness Academy, and uh, from Caveman Clark from cavemanclark.blogspot.co.uk, uh, that's uh, my take on the Spiridon and Spiridon LS. Thank you very much. Bye.